Hi all all welcome to this channel my name is my name is Tony Stark and we are going to start a new series in YouTube and this is completely related related to BSc nursing upcoming exams that is fourth sem and second sem we all know that in both sem the subjects included are MSN2 and PPG and in second sem the subjects included are biochemistry nutrition and foundation so this is the first video in this video we will discuss about the pattern of exam for pharmacology in pharmacology like uh, how much the weightage of the question paper the pattern how we need to write the exam and the questions how they will ask they will give the choice or not everything will be discussed in this video Today I am going to make a new video, so please subscribe, 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 whatever. So let's begin this video by discussing pattern of exam for pharmacology. For pharmacology, they ask for thirty-eight marks. The total paper contains uh, like a PPG. PPG is for 75 marks. In this 75 marks, pharmacology carries 38 marks. In this 38 marks, they will give like seven MCQs that each carries one mark. That is seven marks. Essay that is long answer for 10 marks. Short answer for five marks. They will give three 15 marks. Very short that contains three questions each question carries two marks total six marks by this all will get 38 marks this is the exam pattern like the question pattern for pharmacology now we'll discuss the pattern of answer sheet how we should write the answers this is the pattern for 10 marks and i will explain for five marks and i will explain for two marks how we need to write pharmacology answers first we need to write the introduction for 10 marks we are, i'm saying for 10 marks we need to write introduction definition classification of the drugs and we need to explain the question what they specifically asked for in the question if they are asking any drug specifically in the question we need to write According to the question, we need to write mode of action of the drug, doses, frequency and route, indications, contraindications, adverse effects. At the end, we will write uses. Uses, we can write after the doses or at the end. It, is, it depends on your choice. Now, I will explain this pattern with an example. See, this is the question asked in 2021 this is for 15 marks now we don't have 15 marks questions so we will write for 10 marks classify androgenic drugs therapeutics use therapeutic user and mode of action of androgenic drugs adverse effects contraindications drug interactions and doses of adrenaline this is the question asked in 2001 now we'll, i will discuss how we need to write same question for 10 marks first we need to write introduction introduction should go like this androgenic drugs also known as sympath sympathomimetic drugs mimic the effects of sympathetic nervous system by stimulating androgenic receptors these receptors are involved in various psychological processes such as heart rate blood pressure regulation and bronchial dilation making the androgenic drugs useful in many clinical settings this is the introduction for that question after introduction we need to write definition definition is androgenic drugs are medications that act on androgenic receptors in the body neither by directly stimulating these drugs or by enhancing the release of endogenous catecholamine catecholamine such as nephrine or norepinephrine this is the definition of androgenic drugs after writing the definition we need to write the classification don't write classification in this way like in a longitudinal way don't 
right in horizontal way then you'll have one page and you'll you can write the uh, classification in step by step in a flow chart so writing in this way is very good i prefer writing in this way rather writing in this way so the classification should have the heading heading should be there and we need to write in a flow chart way and after writing each drug the subclass this is called subclass and each subclass should have at least three to four drugs minimum we need to give an example of each subclass at least three drugs is compulsory for writing flow chart or classification here direct attack our direct acting, indirect acting and mixed acting nephrine, non-nephrine, dopamine and thyramine and uh, pseudo phedrine are the drugs or the examples for androgenic drugs after writing the classification we need to write mode of action of a particular drug according to the question whatever they are asking the drug we need to write the mode of action see in this question they asked about androgenic androgenic drugs they, they never mentioned any drug name they never mentioned about a nephrine or anything but if they are mentioning a particular drug we need to write regarding to according to the question if they are asking about norepinephrine we need to write mode of action for norepinephrine and indication doses everything according to the question now in this question they didn't ask about a particular drug they asked about androgenic drugs classify androgenic drugs there are so many drugs included in, in this androgenic drugs but they are they didn't ask particularly about a single drug so we need to write according to the question so the mode of action for this is epinephrine acts both on alpha and beta androgenic receptors the like uh, the, the mode of action is alpha 1 receptors alpha beta 1 receptors and uh, beta 2 receptors everything we need to write according to the question after writing mode of action we need to write uses of the drug like uh, here we uh, we are discussing about adrenaline so we used uh, the, the uses of adrenaline like cardiac arrest we use anaphylis we use asthma we use and the local vasoconstriction these are these are the uses we having uh, we are having for adrenaline after writing we need to write after that we need to write doses frequency and route doses should be write uh, written properly and frequency should be written properly and uh, route how can you give the medicine to the patient what's the route you will choose to give i am iv oral subcutaneous like so there are so many ways to we can give to a patient there are each and every drug having a particular way, way of doses, way of frequency and way of route where they varies from drug to drug. So we need to remember for each and every drug and contraindications. We need to write where that uh, medication is contraindicated. Hypertension, hyperthyroidism, phenochromocytoma, narrow angle glaucoma these are the contraindications for the drug at the end we need to write adverse effects of a particular drug and drug interaction should be included now if they are asking for so let's see in this question they asked for uh, like androgenic drugs if they are asking for particular drug like uh, we are classified a particular drug here right so like in this classification we discussed uh, like different kinds of drugs like if they like we wrote uh, we didn't they didn't ask about anything we wrote about epinephrine we can write norepinephrine we can write dopamine we can write uh, theramine we can write uh, any pseudo pseudo epidrine we can write anything we can write if you are having time you can write about this uh, this uh, we can write about this uh, you can write about any drug we for example we wrote about epinephrine that is adrenaline you can if you are having time you can write all these things and we need if you are if you are starting to write you need to write complete pattern that is mode of action to adverse effects we need to write if you are no if you are not having time one drug for 15 marks is enough 
with writing introduction writing uh, definition classification this is part a up to classification that is part a and part b should be mechanism of action doses root frequency inter uh, contraindications indications and uses and adverse about effects of the drug this should be a part b for 15 marks you need to write all these things now if they ask for 5 marks what should you do for 5 marks if they are asking for androgenic drugs let's take same example androgenic drugs if they are asking for 5 marks you need to start from mode of action from mode of action to you need to write therapeutic uses dose and frequency contraindications indications adverse effects and drug interaction by this we will have we will learn 5 marks for this at least we need to write up to this for 5 marks so we completed discussing about 15 marks and 5 marks and so many are having a doubt about uh, 2 marks how, how to write a 2 marks if uh, in this question we see name any 2 antipyuretics they ask name any 2 antipyuretics we don't know a particular drug we don't know anything about uh, antipyuretics we don't know anything some people will write uh, some two drugs they will write um, adrenaline or adrenaline they will write two drugs they leave the question see if you don't know the answer particularly to any question don't write a single word answers if you don't know that this is a trick by the way like if you don't know the answer for a particular question for two marks don't write a single word answers try to write a sentence try to write two sentence at least writing two sentence maybe they will give half mark or one mark so you will get at least one mark rather than zero getting a zero is better than a, like a, getting a one is better than zero right so don't write a single word answers for two marks at least uh, like uh, So I discussed here like for that uh, antipyretics two commonly used antipyretics are hydrocortisone and calamine lotion so like somebody will write hydrocortisone and the calamine lotion they won't write this sentence by writing this sentence the examiner will get an idea that you know the answer but like very well so they if you are writing a spelling mistake also they won't care about that they will do like this like this they will give mark two marks so like try to add matter to the answers so that you will get good marks in your exam so by this video by this we'll end this video i hope you are you are having a somewhat like uh, now you are having some knowledge about the pattern of uh, pharmacology and how to write the exam so if you're having any doubts you can you can directly contact me like in in the in the telegram group you are having my whatsapp number you are having my instagram account you may contact directly to me and you can ask any questions regarding the pattern of exam so we'll end this video by this thank you so much and at the end we are having some uh what to say i need to speak something so stay tuned till then thank you so much yeah, hi everyone the thing i want to share with you guys was like as i'm having telegram channel i'm also having two groups for two whatsapp groups for fourth sem and second sem batch in that whatsapp groups what i will do is daily will take a topic for example in pharmacology there is a chapter called uh, drugs related to renal system in this in that chapter we will take a topic that is anti diuretics and diuretics will take the topic and we will explain about the topic we will provide notes and we will ask we will give some questions related to the topic and we will ask the students to read the topic and those questions by that day so this will be very helpful for the upcoming semester even it is fourth sem or it is for second sem so if anybody want to join in that whatsapp group it is a subscribe it is a subscription based program so if you want to if you are interested to join in that group you can directly message me or you can directly contact me through my telegram or instagram
or or you can directly message me through whatsapp so i hope you all understood and i hope you'll study very hard for your upcoming semester thank you so much for giving this time jai hind